Greetings, I'm Sarah, and what I do is I'm a health food consultant. I actually teach you how to eat healthy and nutritious under 30 minutes. So, today what we're going to actually prepare for you are collard greens. And I know most of you feel that collard greens is so tedious, but I'm going to show you a quick way to get it done. Simple, quick, and clean. Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do collard greens, we're gonna do curry bananas, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do our all famous rice and peas. Today I have Sister Peaches with me, which she's gonna come over. Sister Peaches is my student today. Everyone say hello to Sister Peaches. Hello everyone. <laughs> well, today she's gonna actually be helping me. Today's her first day actually learning how to prepare collard greens in this quick and easy way fashion. So you shouldn't feel that it's gonna to be too hard or difficult for you because she's starting off with level one just as you. Okay, let's go over here to the peaches. Here I want you to go ahead and finish cutting up the collars that you've already started on. And inside these collars here, what you'll notice is we have the collars cut with seaweed. We have actual sea salt, too, pardon me. Sea salt inside of what water? We soak it in here for about five to 10 minutes and put a little bit of lemon juice in it. So once the peach is finished cutting these, she'll drop these into the pan and that will be it for the starting process of your collard drink. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, most people say, well I don't have time to cook and I don't know how time to eat healthy so I just, you know, stop by McDonald's and I pick up something for my children to eat. Mom, listen, it's quite simple. Today, we're gonna make it so they love it as well. The curry bananas is always a kick with my three-year-old. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna also show you how to save on your electricity bill. Today, we're only gonna use two pots. Everything that we're gonna eat for cost meal from the beginning to the end is gonna be done in two pots. So with this one pot, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and get a cup of water, and we're gonna put some water in here and start boiling this pot. And we're gonna put our brown rice in. Now, I know that brown rice is a very taboo and it seems it's always too grainy. Or if it's not too grainy, you just can't get enough water in it. It's always dry. It always takes too long. Well, I'm gonna show you a quick and simple way of doing it. Okay, so we got our water inside the pot. Alright, gonna go ahead and turn it on. Trust me, these things are one of the best things a girl can have in the kitchen. Um, Oh, I almost had a little trouble over here getting the pot to go around the cord. Well, it's on now. We have it all the way turned up. Gonna go ahead and get my brown rice. Now, I'll tell you, I don't normally sell other people's products, but Uncle Ben, it sure does a good thing for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and Pour the rice in. Now the hint with the brown rice with Uncle Ben, the quick tip is to have more water than you actually have rice in. Now one of the things that I was always taught growing up is that you can always put in water, but you can never take out water. Well good thing brown rice allows me to put in a lot of water because I get to drain it off at the end. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get that in. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of salt, and this is actually sea salt. So for my diabetic customers that have to stay away from the salt, this is a great sea salt substitute, along with grass liquid aminos. This here saves you so much sodium, and it has all of your amino acids in it you possibly can want, okay? So I'm gonna put this in there, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter, and this actually, they say vegetarians don't have butter. Boo-hee. 
That's not true. We have Earth's Balance, which is also vegetarian friendly. It has no animal products in it, and it serves just as a butter as well. So come on over. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in there. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of sea salt. All right, now while that gets to going over here, what we're gonna start doing next is actually cooking the greens. Yes, it's been five minutes. Did you see how fast that was? So how was it, Sister Peach, just cooking the, cutting the greens? Excellent, real easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take from the bottom, since the bottom has been soaked the most longest, we're gonna go ahead and sister peaches. Would you like to put a little bit of vegetable oil inside of your pan? It's right over there. You see it inside of right here? Okay, there we go, pardon me. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a couple of our greens from over here and when we start here in the sizzling, that's when we'll start dropping everything. And what we're gonna do right now, since the peaches, we're just gonna take an onion and we're gonna go ahead and slice it. Here you Trick or trade, I'm gonna run mine with some water. Okay. <laughs> Let me show you one easy way of cutting onion, which saves you tons of eye problems. You, if you know this, onions normally make you cry out of the room. But well, one of the good ways is to cut off the can like she did, which is on that side, and also turn it around and cut off the can. Thus making you a flat shape. Easy for you to actually go ahead and prepare to cut the rest of it without it slipping all over your head. Slide it down the middle, you have two halves. You go ahead and take off the access part of it, makes it very easy to clean, and you just go straight down and chop it all the way through. Isn't that much better? Yes, well done. All right, and just to show you that it's not that difficult, I'm gonna go ahead and let her start doing the other half. And I'll be right back with you. For you mothers, it's best to have all of your ingredients put all in one central location. If you have everything right next to you, you'll find it much more easy to get around, more, more efficient, and also it saves you a lot of sweat. Also, if you notice underneath the table, I have a big pot here. I keep a big pot here with side one of the Wendy's bags or whatever you call it, your local supermarket bag. Put it inside of there, you dump everything in there, you keep going at the end, you take it out, fold it up, and throw it in your dumpster. Real time saver. All right. So, what we're gonna also do is we're gonna take a couple of cloves of garlic. ways to cut up garlic will be to actually lay it down, get you a big knife, hammer it, hammer it, and it's going to all break apart. Do you see how that is? All of that. Now it's much easier. You don't have to worry about it falling out of your hands or chasing it or trying to get it to come out of the shell and the shell being with it. It's much more easier. Alright, now you just give it a rough slice. 